What's going on, everybody? Uh, here's what Salt River looks like after the monstrous amounts of rain we got yesterday. <laughs> it's actually not a bad thing. It's actually a very, very good thing. I mean, for the immediate, no, it's not great. It's not fishable. Your chances of catching anything out of this are slim to none. That water is moving so fast and so much debris and so much moss underneath there you can't see it is not fishable. Now, not to worry. We have survived conditions like this every year. Um, I got some video here for you. You know, you can see the water is muddy and murky and high. You know, about a day or two, probably in this situation, I'm going to say more like two or three days before this water comes down to a fishable level. <clears throat> it still might be chocolate milk, but that's never stopped us before. We've still been able to pull limits out in the situation like this. So this is not a big deal. This is actually a very good thing. The water was real low. Um, the white bass run's been a little weird this year. We've had them warm days. It caused some pretty heavy false runs up this direction. You saw us catch 12 and then 6. And you've seen people posting catching limits here. A lot of people are having better luck with live bait. You're seeing a lot of uh, baskets come out of here with live bait. You know, creek minnows, uh, purchase minnows, anything like that. You're seeing a lot of them pull out of that with this clear water, I guess, is what I'm being told. Uh, the artificial bait bite has been tough, to say the least. Um... Pulling anything close to a limit has been darn near impossible, but that's okay. We're early. I mean, a year ago yesterday, April 12th, 2019, was when we really started getting into them and catching on fire. Here's a picture of where we came out and we actually caught our first limit of 30 fish as a group in, in, in no time flat. Now, even these guys who are out here limiting out, they're not limiting out in 30 minutes or an hour. Even with the minnows, they're working hard hours on end to get uh, that 15 fish or 30 fish for a group in the basket. So it really hasn't been its normal run, but you have been able to see the fish in here flickering. You've been able to see them hitting the bait and not really taking it. So you've seen my concerns of, is this cold snap coming up going to be a problem? That's my concern. The rain is great. I love it. For the next couple of days, it's going to suck, but it'll get better. It'll be great for it. The water levels will come up. But the cold that's coming along with it and hanging in at night with these 29 to 35 degree nights, and these northwesterly winds, it really has me baffled and worried. The question is, is, is it going to delay the run till it warms up? Or is it going to just make the run a really tough fish this year and not be like the previous years where we've covered it and experienced it? I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. I don't have an answer for that. Um, technically, we're still a little early. The wind's blowing good. We're still a little early based upon the previous years we've covered this white bass for you. It's still early. You know, it, in 2017, we really didn't start hitting our limits until the 18th and 19th of April. Uh, and it just so happens that's one of the clips. Uh, season 1, 2019, when we just slammed them, it was muddy like this after a good rain, but it was warm. I was in shorts and a t-shirt. This cold weather has got me baffled, so I don't know. The reason why I'm worried that it won't be a late run, but more of a slow run, is because the fish are already here. We've seen females. They're not necessarily ready. Um, as far as pumping, you know, they're still full of eggs, so I, I am concerned a little bit that because they're in here and we can see them and we can see them bait, uh, taking after our baits that it just may be a slow run this year because of Mother Nature. But we don't know. We're just going to have to let time see. So all I can do is continue to find, give you the facts. This is good. This muddy, hard running water is a good thing. Not right now, but it will be by, I'd say, Wednesday, Thursday timing. But what's that cold going to do? We're going to have to wait and see. We'll come back out here uh, maybe Wednesday and check and see what the water's doing. I'm sure it'll still be chocolate milk, but it'll come down. It'll slow down. All the debris will be out of the way, and all the moss will stop moving to make it a little bit more fishable. We'll find some calmer pockets that are calmed down by bends in the river or trees in the river that kind of slow down a, a churn pocket to make it a little bit more of a slower uh, current for the fish. They like to hide out in there when that kind of happens. We'll move further up. Now that the water's come up, the fish are more than likely to move up even further. So we'll do a lot more hardcore scouting come Wednesday and see where we're doing and what we're doing after these cold days come in. I don't know. But keep trying, enjoying the outdoors. It's beautiful, the white bass run. We've been lucky enough. We've got some, you know, over the course of multiple trips, we've brought in probably I don't know, 50, 60, 70 keepers, but we've never just like limited out in 30 minutes or in one single trip. It's only happened twice. Um, so it's still early.
let's wait and see what happens when the water comes down, see what this cold's going to do to it. We'll check back with you on Thursday and give you the information we can provide. Now, I will say, if you want to come out here and start fishing with minnows or creek minnows, you know, live bait, you're probably going to have a lot better chance catching them because that's what we're seeing is, is that the majority of the people who are getting their limits, they're getting them with creek minnows. They're still not slamming them and, like, getting their limits in 30 minutes like we're used to during the full run. But they're definitely doing a lot better than those of us fishing with artificial bait this year. So let's see what happens. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We'll let you know what's going on. We'll give you more updates as soon as we get them. We'll see you in a couple days. Outdoors in the bluegrass, baby.